The credit card bill is for $252.64. You have to divide that by five nights. So that's five nights to 50 bucks each, each night, so not too bad. Okay, we made it to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. We are at Blackwell Island RV Resort. It's really pretty. It's right off this big lake. And at the, on the 4th of July, the celebration of the coming of my birthday, they are going to have a barge in the middle of the lake and shoot off fireworks. Isn't that nice? All right, we're gonna walk around the park, give you my impressions of it. Right now, I do like what I'm seeing. So hopefully this grass area in front of the door, since they don't want us to put mats down, doesn't get wet. The thing that I should have brought along was that plastic mat thing that came with the leveling blocks, the Anderson leveling block system. I didn't think I would need it, so I didn't bring it. Now I wish I had it so I can put it down on the grassy area. It's not a mat, it's a perforated plastic door thing. What do you know? It's actually useful and I left it at home. Okay, let's walk around the park. Okay, this is what I mean by grassy area right in front of the front door. Hopefully this doesn't get wet because right now it's fine. There's no dirt. I don't even know what's here. Okay, supposedly the Wagon Master is that one. And I'm surrounded by other fantasy RV tours people. So they all are in these big massive buses. My goodness, everyone is in a big massive bus. Except us. <laughs> Look at this. I think that's more of the fantasy RV to a few. My goodness. Oh, look at that. I have to take a picture. Look how tiny. Look how tiny Wanda looks. <laughs> okay, so the perimeter is paved. And then the rest of it is this fresh pea gravel. I guess, I guess that's what they call it. There's Wanda. Hey, some people here look settled in. Okay, this is one of the jetties for the lake which is out that way. We're not gonna go that way because there's children and we don't wanna film children. Ooh, I can't get across. There's no going over. Oh, there's a little path. Oh, good. It's a little path. I don't wanna cut across someone's rented lot. you check in. It's the Spokane River. Laundry room, there's no one in there, so. This is nice. I have to do laundry again before we actually take off from here. We're here for several days. I think we're here for almost a week. Seven days? Six nights? So we'll do laundry. So yeah, they'll have it all arranged. You know? Okay. Okay, we're gonna rally in there when the tour starts. Yeah. See, it's not too bad. 
There's a sink in the other side, I'm sure. Showers, it's clean. There's several of them. There's four. One, two, three, four. I like this park. So far, it's, it's you're not going to hear any traffic noise and surrounded by trees. I love all the trees. And it smells so piney. Is that a word? <laughs> As if someone sprayed the air with pine, with pine saw. love running my hands through it. Ooh, it smells so wonderful. All right, and there we are back to, we're in the front row. So other than the leaf blower, this is really a nice part. I love all the American flag blowing. They've got three here. Oh, there's another, just two more. I love all the American flag. I don't understand why the country's no longer patriotic. All these people who don't want to be Americans, get out if you don't want to be an American. Very simple. Let the ones who want to be here, here. Look at these massive lawn areas. Beautiful. And look how far the rigs are from each other. Even the end one. Look how big of a lawn they have. Look at that big lawn area. Very nice. They do take Amazon parcels, so we might have to order a the Anderson plastic map here. We should do that now. So it'll come in the next couple of days. That was the walk around part of the park that I wanted to walk and some of the facilities. I will catch up with you tomorrow morning after we spend the night here. That will be weather. Hopefully there aren't any trains like there were last night. Okay, see you tomorrow morning. Bye. Good morning. I slept fabulously last night. There were no sounds, no birds, no crickets. Just the sound of the rustling wind against the tree and an occasional... It did rain a little bit last night. So I did hear that on the roof of the of Wanda. It was a nice, pleasant sound. So would I stay here at Blackwell Island RV Resort in Coeur d'Alene again? Oh, a definite yes. And again, I do like this place also. It's, it's paid. There's really no dirt anywhere. I like not having dirt. The, the, the thing with the dirt is I don't want to track it into my RV. When I was younger, my parents actually, we actually RV'd, <laughs> believe it or not. And the thing that always got me was the dirt that was being tracked in from the outside. Never liked it. I still don't like it. And especially since I have light colored flooring, I really don't like it. So again, this is a definite yes. Well, thank you for watching. Bye.